Welcome back once again, friends. So, this is a story about a young orphan boy who spent half of his life wandering on the streets. But one day, something happens to him that makes him the champion of the world. He is just like you and me, a normal boy. But in the eyes of the world, he is a fat and bad person, which is why he has to hear so many insults every day. So, the movie starts, and one day, the father of his friend, takes him to a private school with him and talks to the basketball coach there, who is also his good friend. At first, they refuse to admit him, but when they see him playing basketball, they say just one word, wow, because it was very difficult to move with so much weight. But he was doing it very easily because he had a natural talent inside him. After that, they go to the head coach and talk about his admission but they all refuse because his grades were very low. The coach explains that this boy will bring fame to our school in the future. He will lead our basketball team to win the league championship. Someone tells Joe a lot of things that convince them. The story continues, and today is Joe's first day at school. But the same thing happens to them that has been happening for years. No child talks to them, and they sit alone at their desk. After class, Joe goes to watch a basketball game. But after the game ends, they start collecting all the leftover food on the seats and eat it because they don't have enough money to buy food. While doing this, they see a man there. They have only one question in their mind. Why is this child doing this? But the man doesn't say anything and leaves. After that, Joe goes to sleep at their friend's house. But even there, they get teased which their friend's mother used to do. Joe doesn't like it at all because they think they are very dirty. Now life was going on like this. After a long time, one day, when Joe is going home after school, they meet a boy named Seen who says hello to them and offers them friendship through conversation. Now this was very strange for Joe because it was the first time someone had talked to them at school. There was a child named Seen who was not allowed to go to a certain place. So, anyone who talked to Seen would make Seen's mom come and see who they were talking to. Seen's mom thought it was strange when she saw Seen talking to someone, so she called Seen into her car. That night, Seen and their family were coming back from dinner when they saw someone on the road in the rain. Seen's mom recognized the person, and so did their dad, because they had seen them after a match. They asked the person where they were going in the cold at such a late hour. The person said they were going to the gym. After that, they continued walking ahead. But after going a short distance, Seen's mom remembered that all the school gyms are closed at that time. So, she went back to them and told them this. The person then said they were going there because it's warm inside and it's very cold at that time. Hearing this, Seen's mom was surprised and immediately asked if they had nowhere to stay. The person said no because they had to leave their friend's house because of their friend's mom. So, Seen's mom told them to get into her car and brought them home. Now, Seen's mom gave them a bed and told them to sleep on the sofa. Here we see Claire's daughter Julie, who used to go to school at this time. Now, when she sees Joe, she feels strange and leaves. Anyone who understands this, but Claire has a very good heart, so she doesn't say anything. The next day when Claire comes downstairs to the hall, she sees that no one is on the couch. The bed that she gave to Joe is properly placed there, and when she goes outside the house, she sees Joe going from there. Claire goes to him and asks where he is going. So Joe sadly says nowhere because he doesn't have a place to go. But Claire once again wins Joe's heart and says that today is a holiday called Thanksgiving in school. Celebrate with us today. Now Joe agrees and comes back to the same house with Claire, after which everyone has breakfast while watching TV. But Joe goes alone and sits at the dinner table. Joe knows the right way to eat. Claire sees this and understands. He has always been alone. So he turns off the TV and tells everyone to eat at the dining table, which makes Joe feel really good because Joe had never eaten such food before. Joe was a boy who didn't have a lot of clothes, so he would go with his friend Clear. Clear would try to talk to him, even taking him to his mom's house where he used to live. 
But when they went there, they saw that the house now belonged to the government because his mom never paid rent for it. After that, they both took some clothes and ABHI went to school for the first time with nice clothes and had a lot of fun with Clear. When he came back, he started fixing his bed. Then Clear came and told him that if he wants to stay there, he can stay for a few more days. When ABHI heard this, he happily said that he doesn't want to go anywhere else. Clear was very happy and gave Abichi some happiness that he deserved. The next day, Clear also gave him his own personal room, which surprised ABHI. Then Clear asked him if he had ever had his own room before today, and ABHI said no, he had never had a bed before, so he always slept on the sofa or on the floor. When Clear heard this, tears came to her eyes. Because of maintaining their health, some people go to the gym and run after having two meals. And there are also people who walk several kilometers every day so that they can get food. You will get to see this scene. Let's move forward. After some time, gradually, which life had started to become much better than before, he began to experience all the happiness that he had never thought of. Due to all these reasons, he also started to stay happy and work hard to get good marks in his studies. His hard work also started to bring colors. He started getting much better marks than before. Now Christmas comes, the whole family takes photos, but he is not in it. So they click another photo with him and ask him to join. But when all the relatives see his photo, they start saying all sorts of things. Some even say that he looks older than all three. But Clea, replying in a clear and contrary manner, says at least he doesn't love my money like you people do which makes everyone silent. A few days later, they all go out for dinner, where they see Clea hugging the waiter. When Clear asks him who he is, he tells her that he is her long-lost brother that she just met after 13 years. This makes their whole family very excited because they didn't think they would ever find their real brother. Clear decides that they should go to his house the next day but they don't know where he lives because he has always lived alone and in different places. Before, he would stay in orphanages whenever he found one. But now that the family is in his life, everything is different. The next day, he is studying alone in the library like usual. But this time, Julie comes and sits with him. She asks him why he doesn't like sitting with her anymore. He smiles because he is happy that Julie is now a part of his happiness too. Later, Clear talks to her husband about adopting him because she wants to give him a home and make sure no one can say that she just gave a homeless boy a place to stay. Clear asked her family if it was okay to do something and they all said it was fine. But then Clear went to a place where they handle official stuff and found out that her dad had died in an accident. Her mom is still alive, but she drinks a lot of alcohol. She drinks so much that she doesn't even remember that she has a son. In this place, you only need one person's signature, so Clear doesn't need her mom's signature. But her mom can't take care of a child when she's like that. So Clear went to her mom's house one time, but her mom was in a really bad state. At first, her mom talked to Clear in a mean way, but then they talked a little more, and Clear told her mom that she wants to officially become her son's mom, and that's why she needs her mom's signature on a paper. When her mom heard this, she became very happy. She always wanted her son to become a good person, and she gave Clear lots of love and good wishes. Now there was a boy named Joe who became a permanent member of the Clear family. This meant that nobody could tell him what to do anymore. A few days later, on his birthday, Clear gave him a mini truck as a gift because it had always been his dream. Joe was very happy when he received the truck and he would drive it to school. He was living a life that he had never imagined before. One day, there was a match that Joe wanted to watch, but Clear told him that she had a meeting and he should go with Joe instead. They both enjoyed the match, but unfortunately, they got into an accident on the way back. They both got hurt, but luckily they were safe. Joe felt very guilty and blamed himself for the accident. That's why Clear went to sit with him and explained that it wasn't his fault, but rather, he had saved his brother's life. Hearing this made Joe feel a little better, and he hugged Clear. At that moment, Clear noticed that Joe's hand was bleeding. 
She asked him how he was feeling, and he told her that when the car was about to crash into the dashboard, he put his hand in front to protect himself so he wouldn't get hurt. After hearing this, Klee understands that her family is really worried about her. After a few days, everything becomes okay. There was a boy who was practicing American football at his school, which was a little like rugby, but he wasn't performing very well here. So, Clea comes up to him and asks him what he said when some people were staring at her in a shop one day. He says that he told them that he will always protect her. So, she tells him that he needs to do the same thing here, protect his players, and win for his team. That same night, he has a match with the smartest team that no one can beat. The same thing is happening here, where his team is losing, but he tries his best and starts to compete, and he throws a rival team player out of the field, after which he doesn't stop, and by doing this, their team wins. Clea shouts and tells everyone proudly that he is her son. Now, this becomes a proud moment for her. The entire match was recorded by Clea, and she sends the series to every coach, and everyone is amazed by seeing the stunt. Different teams wanted to play in exchange for their team. Whenever someone wanted to go outside, they could go without anyone stopping them. They all agreed. And then when they started playing with different teams and started getting good grades in school, everything started becoming normal. Because of his ability, he had become very famous. All the big universities wanted him to take admission in their college and then play for their team. But he chose the university from which he had cleared the exam. Now one day, he was called to the NBC office. It is actually an organization that takes care of all the athletes and also conducts their practice. Here, he was asked why he wanted to take admission in the same university. He didn't give any answer. After that, the officer told him that a few years ago, he was living on the streets, and then a family took him in. They gave him good clothes, good food, and even a car. They even adopted him. Who knows if they were doing all this for their own benefit? Because they already know about your sports ability. Now when someone doesn't answer, they get completely confused and leave from there where Clear was waiting for them. Clear gets very upset and asks, why did you adopt me? Why did you keep me in your house? Clear doesn't understand anything. And why is he saying all this? He had already left by the time she could ask anything. He wanted to meet his real mom, but the mom was not there. Instead, there was a leader of a gang who offered him a drink. He doesn't really drink, but today he does because of anger. After a while, that man starts saying very bad things about Julie and Clear, which Julie doesn't like, and he tells her to stay quiet but she doesn't listen, which leads to a very bad fight between the two of them. Once clear who was trying to find Joe everywhere, but she couldn't find it anywhere. Then she got a call. Someone invited her to a place where clear went and talked to that person. They said that clear would make her own decisions from now on and they would never force her. They asked clear which college she wanted to go to and she said Mississippi University where her mom and dad had studied. Clear wanted to be like her family. After that, Clear went to the NC office again, where he easily answered all the questions asked that day and said that he wanted to go to that university because his family had been there. The officer smiled when he saw Clear's confidence. After a few days, Clear got admission to that same university and she would have to stay away from her family, which Clear didn't like. So she sat in the car and someone came to her and said, Mom, come out. I want to hug you. They hugged each other. At the end of the story, we see some real images and Clear reaching new heights. After a few years, Clear became a world champion. If Clear had not been kept at home, today a world champion would be wandering on the road. How did you like the story? Please comment below. Thank you so much.